all the like the major arts, and they all know what's going on. And anyone that says they don't, they're lying. Or they're, or they're either fucking stupid or they're lying. Um, it, what pissed me off most was that I had spent an awful lot of time ensuring that we were selling like $25 tickets because I wanted younger people to be able to afford to come and see us. Um, and then they were loading those tickets. They were charging more in fees and more in, like, and, and, and all this other stuff. So we, we didn't allow dynamic pricing because it, it is a scam, you know, and, and every artist could just say, I don't want that, and it would disappear. But, but you know, most artists hide behind management, so we didn't know any, we didn't know what was going on. The fees side of things, I was saying, you know, I was saying, I want the fees included in the ticket price. I want a $25 ticket to cost $25. And it's, yeah, yeah, of course you do, of course you do, yeah. So then when it first, they started running out of tickets and then suddenly you're like $25. And by the time someone gets reached his checkout, it's like $57.50. You're thinking like, where the fuck is all this? Where are these fees going? So then I'm on the phone to the bloke who runs Ticketmaster and he's like, oh, Robert, you know, this is like you know, someone has to upkeep the building and the car. I said, look, if all this is true, and this fees, why don't you just tell people what the fees are for? Put it on the front of the website. Say, like, you're going to pay $25 for the ticket. That's what the band are charging. And we're going to charge you $27.50 for, you know, to sweep the car park and see what happened, you know. So in the end, I managed to wear them down. I managed them, you know, because I, they, they, they really did piss me off because at first they weren't taking me seriously. And it's like... <laughs> You know, it just drove me crazy. So it takes an awful lot to get me angry, and I did get really, really angry. So then I said, like, you have to re start reimbursing people. And they're like, what? Uh, and they did. You know, it cost them quite a few million dollars in the end. But um, but I wasn't thinking like, here's me up against Ticketmaster. I was thinking like, I was just pissed off that n actually the thing that came out of it. I was pissed off that no one, no one apart from Neil Young had either the, the inclination or the courage or whatever to stand up and say, yeah, actually, this is, this is a fair point that he's making. No one. Of all the, like, the major rights, and they all know what's going on. And anyone that says they don't, they're lying. Or they're, or they're either fucking stupid or they're lying. It's, it's just driven by greed, but it's, it's the system. You know, it's like you're up against something where you, every, everything's monetized. I mean, that's like my lost world. It's like, you know, it's a kind of, a, it's seeing the world, the, the, you know, historic through rose-coloured spectrals like, to some degree, but there was a time when not everything, you know, the goal to privatisation stuff we're getting moving into very sensitive areas. But it's like it, it's it's madness. It really is. I mean, that's the reason why the world is kind of falling apart. Is because is you know, is greed, inequality, monetization. It's just it's insane. So in my own small corner of the world, I start you know. You won't. This won't happen to us. So it's um yeah. But we're selling t-shirts. How can you sell a t-shirt for twenty dollars? And you're like, half of that's profit. I mean, we're making. We sold ten times as much stuff. I'm like reducing the prices all the time. And Fifteen dollars, and we sell a hundred times more t-shirts. And I, I'm saying to people, look, we reduced everything down so that there was barely any profit on any of the stuff we're selling. And we still made so much money. We sold so much stuff. It's like, we just do the same. Everyone's happy. We're happy. We're selling loads of stuff. Loads of people are wearing T-shirts. We're making money off them. Loads of people are wearing T-shirts because loads of people could afford to buy them. You know, it's people save money on the tickets, so they bought merch or they bought beer. I mean, it doesn't really matter what they spend on. It's like, there's goodwill. The shows are fantastic. People, if we went and do, you know, we go back and play the same shows, people are going to come and see us again. It's like, so it's a self-fulfilling good vibe, you know, and I don't understand why more people don't do it. It's just, it's either laziness, like I say, of stupidity or greed. It has to be one of those three things. There is no other reason.